before I begin this video, I wanted to say thank you everyone for the third the third subscribers. Okay, I'm I'm genuinely happy. I'm so happy that we're gonna celebrate with sponsor. Yes, that's right. We got a sponsor. Maybe if you're asking, is it Raid Shadow Legends? I is it Honey? No, it is none of that. It is actually by me. Yes, that's right. I am the sponsor myself. Hello everyone, my name is Rasputin the Afroslav and if you are looking for a video editor or a photo editor freelancer, hey, I might be the perfect guy for you. I will edit your photos, your videos and also I'm gonna make bits for your videos and also VFX. All the softwares that I use are free and open source softwares, well, because I can afford much. From music, edition, visual effects, don't worry, I got you covered. I can make beats if you want some original ones, I can edit your videos by cutting the necessary parts of the video, adding the effects like color grading, king, that effect that everyone put when they are triggered, and also motion tracking. Or shaking. Also, check this cool voiceover that I just created for my friend. Come in, Hive Team. Tell me you found something. It's a match. It's her. It's King Cyborg. Copy, Hive Team. This is headquarters. Receiving the data now. I can do all that stuff. So if you want to hire me, feel free to contact me through all my social media contacts or my professional email. You can also find me on Fiverr and Freelancer's website. Yes, that's my real name over there. You can write on the death note now. So if you're looking for a freelancer for video editing, photo editing, music making, or even visual effects making, I might be the right guy and don't worry, I got you covered. So if you're looking for an editor, don't forget to click the link below and yeah, I, I'm ready to work with someone. I am very sorry for this inconvenience. Unfortunately, Rasputin is on vacations right now. Well, today is gonna be me who's gonna hosting the show. Well, allow me to introduce myself. I am the dealer, or how should I say, the controversial side of Rasputin. Today we're going to talk about one film composer who've been nominated for 15 Oscars and unfortunately he never won a single one. I acknowledge that the Oscar season is already gone. I don't care, alright? I only do for your own entertainment. Now, before I go forward, with the video. I very humbly gonna ask you to subscribe to Rasputin's channel and maybe I'm gonna bring him back from the death if this video gonna reach unless one like. Much appreciated. Thank you. Music was our... oh wait, wait a minute. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, much better, sorry. Music is one of my passion of my entire life. I used it as a hobby. I, in the future, I want to transform it as a career. Maybe, who knows? Who knows what the destiny is gonna bring in my life? But let's talk about the film composers. Well, the film composers can be very respectful with the music that they create, with all that melody that sometimes sounds unique, sometimes sounds original, some of them sometimes steal from the other composers and somehow get nominated for an Oscar and wins. That's called cheating, okay? Don't do that, alright? In, in terms of world record, 
There are a few people who achieved in the Oscar category, such as Walt Disney for winning more, so many awards. He is the only one who won so many goddamn awards somehow. Uh, maybe because of the old and revolutionary animations that he bring on the table at a time when Disney somehow get away with all this stuff. I, I, I seriously, I don't know how Disney still get away, but anyway, let's move on. Now, if I'm gonna say Alfred Newman, does that ring a bell? If it does, good for you, all right? But if it doesn't, allow me to explain, okay? Alfred Newman was a film composer who won one of the most numbers of Oscars by scoring nine Oscars in his entire life. And then he had two children, okay? I've forgotten the other name and another is Thomas Newman. So, if you're asking yourself, who is Thomas Newman? Well, is the individual who we're gonna talk today, okay? Thomas Newman, or the long-distant brother of Tom Cruise, was born in 1955. So if you're gonna expect that I'm gonna follow his entire career as a chronolog in chronological order, unfortunately, you're not gonna find it right here, okay? Uh, however, I'm gonna do a very different way, okay? I gonna do it chronologically according to all his nominations because 15 nominations the, this this guy need this guy someone needs someone give him an oscar okay so many people was like ah, Leonardo DiCaprio didn't win an oscar she's only giving one he, 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 sh 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 the fuck up who's Leonardo DiCaprio Leonardo DiCaprio can go fuck himself alright yeah this man needs an Oscar, okay? 15 nominations, that is too much. And and keep in mind, he's not the only one, okay? Fuck my microphone. <laughs> he's not the only one, okay? Aside of one, another, who, another one, who, which maybe if this video gonna, gonna perform well on videos, I'm gonna do a sequel of this series, all right? But, however, for now, let's just talk about Tom Cruise, I mean Thomas Newman. Thomas Newman received his first Oscar nomination by composing music for The Shawshank Redemption, one of the greatest movie of all time on the highest ranked movie of all time according to IMDb, which I, I kind of agree. I kinda agree, okay, I'm gonna confess, I kinda agree, okay? Unfortunately, he lost for Hans Zimmer by composing The Lion King entire score, which I gonna agree, it's very fair, okay? The Lion King is a masterpiece, okay? Overrated, but the score, mm, it's, it's a pizza. Not, not, not with pineapples, but, you know, a good pizza, you know, Italian pizza. Then later next year, he received an, another nomination for an Oscar. Well, he composed for a movie on strong heroes. Well, unfortunately, he lost for Pocahontas, which have two composers, one of them I prefer not to mention his name because it's so damn difficult to pronounce. Then he was like, okay, you know, two nominations, fair enough, that's okay, I'm gonna give him a pass. Then, before the year 2000, so many people was speculating, especially the religious people, you know, which they, they are, they are, I don't, I don't know what they, I mean, not all the religious people, you know, but the people who constantly get into this cult society, you know, they think that the world's gonna end in the year 2000 and 1999 is gonna be the last 
decade of human race. Yet here we are. <laughs> oh, that's fucking stupid. Well, the year 2000 have arrived and there's one movie that he managed to score thanks to Sam Mendes for directing American Beauty, a movie which, uh, to be honest, I, I, never, I never saw this film. This is the only movie from Sam Mendes that I never saw. I mean, I never saw, like, um, uh, what is, what, uh, Spectre? I didn't saw it. I only saw Skyfall, all right. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not much of a cinema expert, okay? Shut, uh, shut up, okay? But, yes, he was nominated for American Beauty, okay? The best score. Which, unfortunately, he lost again by a movie, The Red Violin. Poor, geez, second class, poor dude. 2003 came in and he composed a music score for the, the movie Road to Perdition. Well, unfortunately, he lost again for a movie called Frida which it's a biography about one painter, I guess, I don't, I don't know, I never saw it. Then, somewhere in a distant land, a company so damn powerful at the time that break, break his amazing talent to score an animated film called Finding Nemo. And then he received a nomination for his score. Unfortunately, he lost for Howard Shore from the Lord of the Rings series, which I'll confess that was acceptable. Okay, between Thomas Newman and Howard Shore, I, I will I will choose Howard Shore, but um, b because Lord of the Rings music, mm, fantastic, they're phenomenal. All right. So, uh, I'll give that a pass, okay? I'll, I'll give it that a pass, okay? In 2005, there was a movie that starring Jim Carrey in a prosthetic makeup called A Series of Unfortunate Events, where Thomas Newman managed to score the music. And, of course, he was nominated for an Oscar in 2005. Now, the question is, did he win? Of course not. Of course he didn't, okay? These are nominations, he never he never won, okay? He, he never fucking won, okay? Though if you're expecting a happy ending here, no, he didn't, alright? However, there was another movie who win the Oscar. Unfortunately, he lost for Finding Neverland, starring Johnny Depp. I don't, I, I, seriously, I don't know the name of the film, uh, film composer, film, music composer, I don't, I don't know, I, I, he's very popular, but I don't know his name, okay, but I don't, I don't know his face, you know, but I don't know his name, alright. So later in 2007, he scored a music for a film, The Good German, and which, of course, he received a nomination Unfortunately, he lost for a film called Babel, uh, directed by Alexander Narito Gustavo in a fucking Alejandro Gustavo Alejandro Gonzalez in I guess you know the, this this director who directed Birdman and The Revenant. So with all this nomination collection. He had enough, okay? Then he gone back to Disney for another feature animation work project. He had enough and he was like, nope, I'm, I'm done doing only music scoring. I also gonna do song because in the Oscars, you also get nominated for the best song. Which, it happened. He was nominated for both the best score and the best song in Wally. -E. Which, unfortunately, he didn't want none of them. On the best original score, 
he lost on Slumdog Millionaire and in the original song he lost for J-Ho, also Slumdog Millionaire. <laughs> After this, he immediately started panicking. He saw two nominations and zero wins. He was sweating in his, clo in his entire clothes and he was desperate for that worthless statue that all of these rich people get so after this he took a break and in 2013 when Skyfall was released he did the music for the film and guess what he was nominated for the best original score unfortunately he lost for the laugh laugh la life of Pie. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, oof. Yeah, that, that, that's hurt a lot. That, that is really hurt a lot. Jesus fucking Christ. All these nominations? Nah. Nah. Then, in 2013, he scored for a film Saving Mr. Banks, which belongs to Disney. And, of course, he lost again for a movie gravity thomas newman if you're watching this video i i feel you man i f i feel you 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 someone need to give you oscar okay if it's it's maybe if it's an honorary oscar okay you you deserve it all right and then he composed a music score for steven spielberg's film called bridge of spice and of course he was nominated for an Oscar. Well, unfortunately he lost again for Ennio Morricone's The Hateful Eight, which right now we're gonna talk about him. Unfortunately Ennio Morricone is not with us right now, but it's, it's really special moment for him, okay? Because this composer also was nominated for 11 Oscars. And in his entire lifetime, he composed 500, yes, 500 scores for film. Not 500, like, tracks, you know, but for 500 films, you know. That is, that is, that is a fucking great achievement all right for a film composer that is mm, top notch okay so yeah it's a it's it was a fair win okay uh, because it was his 11th nomination so he finally managed to give the, someone someone finally had the idea to give to this man an oscar so before his lifetime he got an Oscar, so Ennio Morricone was one of my major inspiration, you know, one of the major inspiration on creating score, you know, creating music, you know, because I love the style that he created for, especially for the Western films, you know, I love it, okay, so Ennio Morricone, rest in peace. And then he composed it for a movie called Passengers, starring the Mutant and the Garden of the Galaxy. There, there are so many people in the Marvel that it just boggles my mind, okay? And of course he was nominated for an Oscar, which unfortunately he lost for a movie La La Land. <laughs> His final nomination was in 1917. No, he didn't back in time. The movie is literally called 1917. It's directed again by Sam Mendes. Oh, yes, I now remember. It's, this is also one of the movies that I saw from Sam Mendes, which it has like a single shot, you know, long take shot movie, kind of like Birdman, you know, but in very clever edited and very innovative and also won an Oscar for the best visual effects. But, yes, he was nominated for an Oscar, the best score, which 
he lost his last battle for the Joker. Well, to be fair, I loved the score and uniqueness for the score of the Joker, which, to be fair, it, it's fair, okay? That was his last Oscar nomination. Well, of course, he's still doing some works, you know, there are a few films that he's composing right now. There's uh, Operation Mi Mi Minecraft... Wait. Mi Mine's me. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I thought it was Operation Minecraft. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. I, I, I hate Minecraft. Not, not because I hate the video game, okay? Because I can't record the video game, but... This another this is, but this is another story, alright. So yeah, he's still composing films and I hope maybe in a not so distant future he will finally get his award. Fifteen nominations zero awards. So yeah, that was it. Uh, at Thank you so much for watching and uh, it was hell of a few days for me, you know, because I've been, I'm, I'm quite busy right now, I'm doing some stuff outside YouTube, as I said in the previous video. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video um, and leave a comment down below, what, what is your favorite composer, alright, and why? And make sure you follow me, there he, there they are, you know, my, follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, or, I don't know, subscribe. <laughs> I want a day. Yeah, so anyway, jokes aside, I highly appreciate for watching. Thank you so much. I made some, a lot, we're gonna make a lot of effort, you know, on editing. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. Stay safe, okay? Don't kill anyone, okay? Thank you so much. Peace, yo.